In this lesson four, we will learn about the difference between Google Analytics, Web Analytics and Digital Analytics. From next video, lesson number five, we'll start getting into Google Analytics and we'll start learning about the basics of Google Analytics before we get into the most advanced concepts in Google Analytics. So let's do our study and let's discuss about what is digital analytics, web analytics and Google Analytics. See, digital analytics is the world of analytics, right? right? See, what is analytics? Analytics is analysis of data and digital analytics is about analysis of data that is captured from digital platforms. But to implement digital analytics, you need some tool and we use a tool called Google Analytics. But remember, Google Analytics is not the only tool. We have a tool called Kissmetrics. We have uh, a web analytic tool by Adobe Analytics, right? So it is not mandatory that every website uses Google Analytics, but by far, most of the websites on the internet, Google uses Google Analytics. See, digital analytics is analyzing the data that is acquired or captured from all digital channels. Digital analytics is very, very important for a business. See, in the world of digital analytics, web analytics is one component, right? You might not just capture data from websites, you might capture data from other platforms as well, which is collected digitally. But in this video lessons, in this entire channel, Make Marketer teaches you about web analytics and Google Analytics. And to implement web analytics, we have to use one tool and that tool that we will learn in this lesson is Google Analytics and in this playlist is Google Analytics. We'll do some extensive study about Google Analytics. We'll not just scratch the basics of analytics, but we will learn about major, major stuff, which is very complex for people with years of experience to understand. See, digital analytics is very important because digital analytics will give you the direction. It will give you the goals that you have to set. It will, it will help you establish your KPIs. But how do you implement them in the first place? Or once you have these KPIs, once you have these uh, things that you want to track, you want to implement them or you want to go ahead and track them then you have to use one tool and that tool that we will consider is Google Analytics but remember digital analytics is big in the world of digital analytics there is one set or one facet we call it web analytics and to implement web analytics we use Google Analytics and and before before I stop this video before I get on to the next lesson I want to talk about data analytics as well see digital analytics is analyzing the data that is captured digitally but data analytics is a world where you analyze the data in itself now data can be captured from any source it, it might not be a website it might not just be a mobile app or it might not just be a digital instrument or you might capture data from any other sources maybe survey as well a physical survey or an online survey but the data analytics world deals with data and their job is to analyze the data and come up with insights that will help us make recommendations that will help us make improvements or that will help us make decisions right but in the world of web analytics we only restrict ourselves to the data collected from web and how do we make recommendations about improving a website improving a business and to implement this we use a tool called google analytics now when i talk about google uh, i'm sorry when i talk about data analytics remember there are four steps just you have to remember because unless you learn these things or unless you know about these things you would not become a better web analyst or a better google analyst or uh, google analytics analyst now these are the four steps right the first one in the world of data analytics is first one is called descriptive analytics and after the descriptive analytics you come to a point where you say diagnostic analytics and third one is predictive analytics fourth one is prescriptive remember the first one is descriptive analytics descriptive as in you describe the entire problem right what's happening right next one is diagnostic why it is happening in the first place third one is called predictive what's going to happen if this continues the same way fourth one is how do you come up with a strategy that will help you solve this entire thing right thank you so much and in my next video lesson number five we'll start learning about the google analytics we'll get into the data we'll go practically into the analytics account and we'll start with the first thing that is called sessions Thank you so much and continue to watch the other videos in the playlist. Do not jump directly to other videos. Watch the videos in sequence. I bet you'd learn so much of content that you'd otherwise not find in any other YouTube channel. Thank you so much and uh, I would see you in lesson number five. Thank you.